Here's a short overview over the new tools and features coming with the CC4D Tools Update 1.0.5. This update brings the support of Character Creator 5 characters and the CC5 HD facial profile with the new CC4D FaceRig HD. I already loaded the Aaron character in Character Creator 5 and exported it as an FBX file. And for the sake of performance, I'm using it on the lowest subdivision level. The CC4D tools can also work with the higher subdivision levels exported from Character Creator, but I will get to that in another video, as this will have some impact on the viewport performance. Back in Cinema 4D, I'm gonna import the FBX file using the CC4D import character tool. If you are using the CC4D tools in Cinema 4D 2026, the options to apply the control rig and the face rig directly on the import will be missing on the import dialog. The reason for that is, pulling the rig assets from the asset browser with the script has caused some issues in this recent version of Cinema 4D. I'm already working on a fix for that and the options will return at some point in the future and applying the control rigs once the character has been imported still works perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and import the character with advanced materials and also check the expression wrinkles checkbox. The CC5 HD facial profile has a lot more pose morphs than for example the standard or the extended facial profile and additionally to that a lot of correctional pose morphs too. So this can easily add up to thousands of pose morphs on a single character. Therefore, removing the morph targets may take a minute longer than on a character with the standard or the extended facial profile. That's why I'm gonna speed up the process a bit. Now that the character has been imported, let's have a quick look at the config tab of the CC character null object. Here you can see that the type of the character is CC3+. I exported the character at its lowest subdivision level. The CC base body mesh of a CC5 HD character at this subdivision level is basically the same as the body mesh of a CC3 plus character. The first thing I'm gonna do is disable the wrinkle solver python tag to not get any performance issues for as long as I'm working in the viewport. Because otherwise the values for the wrinkle maps will be calculated on every frame and I only really need this to be active once I want to render my character. Now let's go ahead and add the control rig to the scene and run the control rig setup. And once the control rig is in place I can finally add the new CC4D face rig HD to the scene and apply it to the character by running the CC4D face rig setup. The control objects of the face rig HD are basically the same as in the face board in Character Creator 5. You can learn more about the CC4D face rig HD, its parameters and settings and find an overview of all the control objects in the documentation. And now you could go ahead and start posing or animating your character's face using the control objects of the FaceRig HD. Another tool that has been updated accordingly to support the FaceRig HD is the CC4D Import Face Motion tool. With this you can currently import and retarget animation data coming from Character Creator and iClone, Rococo Studio and the Moves by Maxon app to the FaceRig HD. Here you can also see that the sheer amount of pose morphs on the single character definitely has its impact on the viewport performance. While testing the rigs in the different versions of Cinema 4D, I found the best performance results so far in Cinema 4D version 2026 and 2025. And I will keep on optimizing the rigs in the future to get more performance out of it.
and the CC40 Bake tool has been updated as well to support the FaceRig HD. The amount of control objects may have its effect on the baking speed, but as the face morphs Expresso tag gets disabled during the baking process, everything else should not interfere with the performance of the baking tool. I'm gonna speed up the process a bit now. Now that the character is animated, let's quickly check out the render result by firing up the Redshift IPR. And as a last step, I'm gonna enable the Wrinkle Solver Python tag again and dial in the wrinkle strength to my liking. That should be it for a short overview over the new CC4D FaceRig HD and how to quickly set up a CC5 character in Cinema 4D. If you have any questions or experience any issues or errors, please let me know in the comments or feel free to drop me a line to cc4dtools at gmail.com.